What's up YouTube? Stick around. I've got a quick hack that I'm going to teach you guys that's going to take your regular automotive style jack from the manual crank into a fully electric power jack. It's going to save you a lot of time. Stick around. Alright, so I need to rotate the tires on my truck and I don't have one of those normal automotive jacks with the crank on the back that makes it real quick and easy. All I've got is this. And if you own a car or a truck, most likely you've got one of these two somewhere in that car. And it goes up under, stipple jack, put the thing in, and you start twisting. And as you twist, it slowly goes up. Well, this takes forever. So I'm going to show you a quick trick to turn this into a power jack. You're going to need a couple things. Obviously, number one, you got to have the jack. Number two, you need the pack of tools that comes with the jack. I've got a Chevrolet, all Chevys look like this. Now, typically, you would need this piece and all of these extensions, and you would, you know, put the piece in there, put all the extensions on, hook this up to the end, and then start using this as a crank mechanism to get the jack up. It's slow, it's cumbersome, it's hard to do. For this, you don't need this piece. All you need is the jack and this piece right here that goes into the jack. And notice the other end is square. So we're going to need a couple more tools. Number one, you need a cordless drill. Uh, if you don't have one, that kind of sucks. This isn't going to work without one. But if you're like me and you carry tools, I've always got one of these in the back of my truck. So a drill is what's going to make this work. To go with this drill, we're going to need a 3 8 adapter for the drill. Just a regular chucked in bit, chuck it into the drill. And now your drill can accept sockets. But this is a weird size. There is not a socket standard or metric that goes on this well. So what I found in my toolbox was this little guy. See if you guys can see in there. This is called a gator grip. It's essentially a socket, but on the end of it, it's got these little metal pins that as you push in on it, some pins go in and some stay, so it essentially can grip to anything you put it on. Now, truth of the matter is, this thing sucks. It doesn't do what it says it'll do, but for this, it actually does. So, you're gonna put that in the end of the drill, your wand in there, put your drill into the gator grip, and then voila. We now have a fully powered automotive jack. Let's try it.
All right, so that's it, pretty simple. Now, I will tell you the trick to this is angles. If you're not coming in straight, it's gonna bind a little bit, and you probably saw me fidgeting with it in the video. But that's it, that's how I turn my standard manual car jack into a electric power jack. Hope you learned something, hope you found it at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to hit like. If you've got a better idea on how to do this, leave it below in the comments. I'd like to hear your ideas. See you guys next time.